All right, it's lessons learned time. This is the water pump for the food truck. Well, it's the replacement pump that we picked up, which is a 12 volt pump. In theory, if we were able to uh, step down our 24 volt battery bank that we have over here to a 12 volt, which is definitely doable, it would save us more power than transferring, uh, uh, transferring the 24 volt to 120 volt as we have wired over here and then back down to 12 volt via this little power supply right here. So, uh, and by the way, don't buy this power supply for this application because it burned up in less than 15 minutes. So the pump, uh, what we're gonna do for uh, the situation here is we're gonna replace it with this guy here because it is wired for 120 normal US plug and the reason we want to do it that way is because if the pump goes bad on us we're gonna have a backup on the truck and this is about as easy to install and uninstall as a fixture on a garden hose so if something goes wrong all we have to do is unscrew the old one and put the new one back in, plug it into the wall, and keep going with service. So, lesson learned on our part. Don't try and save too much power because uh, it gets to be difficult for your staff to fix things on the move. Step one, we're going to unscrew this thing. And step two, we're going to pop it off and get some water on the floor. So we've got the hose off. We're going to uh, go ahead and just unscrew this guy. And then we're going to take this and we are going to flip him over because we don't want to go twisting this. It's all tied together. So you have to twist the pump to get her loose, like so. All right, here's our new pump. So what we're going to look for on here is that little arrow right there. That's telling us that it's is going to go into the sink. So the water shoots out of there and goes towards the sink and obviously comes in here. So we're going to take this piece. It goes underneath there and screw it on here. Scratch that last part. What I meant to say was we're going to take this guy right here, which is a little screen. Can't have too many of these things, so we're going to screw that on there. Then we're going to screw that into that. And I happen to have some uh, pipe thread sealant. If we don't have that on the truck when we are um, hooking it up in a, in a pinch, then no big deal. We'll just go ahead and do it without that. And maybe we might get a little bit of a leak. Maybe, probably not. But uh, I'm going to put it on there just because why the heck not. That guy's on there, so now we're just going to do the exact same thing with our pipe sealant. A little bit here and there. And we screw this guy on. For uh, illustration purposes, I am not going to use the uh, pipe wrench that I've got right here because I'm going to assume that during service we're not going to pull out a pipe wrench and get down and dirty with it. So I've just got this tightened down here pretty good with my hands and uh, now we're going to put some thread sealing on here and twist it around. So we're just twisting this thing over and over again just like we did before. It's tough to do with uh, one hand so you're just going to have to trust me. Alright, we've got it all tightened up. Now the only thing left to do is Reconnect this hose.
and then I'm going to tighten this uh, tighten this back up with our screwdriver. All right, everything is buttoned up. So now all we got to do is plug her in. Water's pumping. 